Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Xiaomi 14 Pro. Now I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as I can, so let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my Calm down. Now I actually gotta catch a flight in a few hours, so I'm really gonna try to make this quick, but y'all know the routine. Grab your popcorn and your thought juice and get comfortable. Now let me start off by answering the main question everybody been asking me all week. If you got a Xiaomi 13 Pro or a Xiaomi 13 Ultra, should you upgrade? And the answer is no. Now unless you just really in love with this titanium build quality, which I am, okay? They're all gonna feel the same. Now if you got a Galaxy S23 Ultra, you're gonna notice the difference in the speed. Because Xiaomi phones, the OS is so fast, it's so smooth, it's crazy. Now even though the 14 Pro has the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, as far as the speed and the way it feels, they're gonna all feel the same. Now if you got the 13 Ultra, you definitely don't wanna upgrade because this one has the best camera with the best zoom. Now, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you compare these two side by side, the Xiaomi 14 Pro just feels so much faster and smoother. And that's even with One UI 6, okay? Samsung, now let me talk to Samsung real quick. Samsung, y'all gonna have to step y'all game up with the S24. It's gonna have the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, so we'll see. But as of right now, Xiaomi is winning. Xiaomi is definitely winning. Now, if you got the 13 Pro, ceramic version, I've been debating this all week long. Which one do I like better? I fell in love with the titanium immediately, but every time I pick up the ceramic, I fall in love with it again. Now, the only thing I don't like about the ceramic one, it has that curved display, but the titanium, thanks to one of you fucking banana heads, actually has a little curved display also. Now, I was so hyped when I unboxed this, it just feels flat because of the sides. But one of y'all banana heads in the comments was like, oh, I watched another video. It does kind of have a curved display. And I really looked at it and felt it and it kind of does. And it's, it's very subtle, the subtlest of subtle curves on it. But once you feel it, you can't unfeel it. So whoever that was who left that comment, thanks for ruining this phone for me because now it just still feels like a curved display. But in all actuality, it's really not too curved. And the flat sides, it makes it feel completely flat. Now, personally, I love how iPhones and the uh, Red Magic phones are just completely flat. So Xiaomi, hopefully for the 14 Ultra, we don't even want the subtle curve, right? We want it just completely flat. So again, if you got the 13 Pro with ceramic, right? not the regular 13 Pro, if you got the ceramic 13 Pro, I would hold on to that because they're gonna feel exactly the same. Now, as usual, I like to start off by talking about everything that I don't like. And y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt. I'm super petty. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It was so hard for me to find things about this phone that I don't like because I absolutely love this phone. Now, let me make this clear. This is not a sponsored video. And this is one of the problems with being a quote unquote tech reviewer. Whenever you say you like something, the first comment is, oh, how much Xiaomi paying you to say you like it? And then when you say you don't like something, oh, you're being biased, why are you being petty? You can't win, okay, you can't win. The only thing I can do is keep it real with y'all. If it wasn't for three things, if it wasn't for three things with this Galaxy S23 Ultra, this would be my favorite phone right now. With the S23, we still got the Samsung ecosystem. Now I got plenty of Samsung gaming monitors, TVs, watches and tablets. So the Samsung ecosystem, I'm kind of into deep. That's number one. Number two, Samsung DeX. Okay, Samsung DeX. And number three, the Bluetooth S Pen. Now, let me make a little, a little uh, side note. A lot of y'all right now got an S23 Ultra in your pocket right now, and you're not really taking full advantage of it. Let's keep it real. Hit me up in the comments and let me know how many of y'all got an S23 Ultra, and you haven't taken out your S Pen in two or three weeks. You haven't done that. Now, for me, I use this so much. This is the thing I do the most. I, with my S Pen, this is what I do the most. It, it, it has to become muscle memory, all right? Let me show you. I do this, writing notes on the screen, taking down phone numbers, take, you know, making little personal thoughts. You can use voice memos to do the same thing, but when you write something down, it tends to stick in your mind a little bit more. 
not to mention Samsung DeX. This is what I use Samsung DeX for. Okay, now I know I'm going off the rails here, but this is what we do. Samsung DeX, being able to connect your phone wirelessly to a monitor, okay, and then start using, you know, like say I connect my phone to a TV and start watching a YouTube video, then I can use my phone to go on Instagram. So when I travel, it's basically like having two devices at the same time. And I do this all the time. I wirelessly connect to a TV, I start watching videos, and then I go on my phone and start rocking out on Instagram. That is one of the most underrated features of this phone. And you gotta start using it. Otherwise, it's gonna be kinda gimmicky to you. The same thing with the S Pen. When I connect my phone to a Bluetooth speaker, I use this to change my songs. Because a lot of times I don't wear a Samsung watch Okay, and I definitely don't be wearing Samsung watches in the house if I'm laying in the bed. But if I got a Bluetooth speaker paired up, I use the Bluetooth S Pen to change my songs. Or if I'm, I'm using screencast on my Samsung Cero TV, you know, the one that rotates. I'll leave a link for that up in the description. Y'all yeah, need to check that out. But every morning when I wake up, I pair this phone to my Samsung Cero TV and I can just whack my videos with the phone still on my charger like this. So those three reasons are the only three reasons why this is still my favorite phone compared to the Xiaomi 14 Pro. Now, like I said, I got a, I, I, it took me so long to think about things that I don't like because it was kind of easy with the Galaxy. I wanted better charging speeds, okay? 45 watts, that ain't fast enough. You shouldn't be waiting an hour to charge up a phone in 2023. No, faster charging speeds, better biometrics, Okay, I had a few different gripes with the Galaxy. But with the 14 Pro, I mean, it was so hard to find some things that I don't like. I had to take it to extra petty status. Number one, I would love to see a Samsung DeX-like feature. Not Samsung DeX. Okay, that's Samsung DeX. But a Samsung DeX-like feature. Now, remember Xiaomi was teasing us with, the, I forgot what they called it at the time. Me Share or something like that, Me Cast. Not the Me Cast and Me Share like we share your pictures. They had a feature that was similar. It's supposed to come out on the Mi 11. I remember reading about it. Similar to Samsung DeX. And then now they just scrapped that idea. So I would like to see a Samsung DeX-like feature where I can wirelessly pair this phone to a TV start watching a YouTube video, and then go on my phone and go on Instagram and start scrolling through Instagram. That feature would be so clutch. That's number one. Number two, I would like to see some more color choices. I'm so tired of OnePlus and all of these other companies coming out with black and green. That's the two major colors, black and green. With Xiaomi, we got black, green, white, and titanium. Now, I would like to see some other colors like red. Xiaomi, okay, I would love to see a red Xiaomi phone with the gold, imagine if this one was red with the gold trim, bro. Red titanium with the gold trim, that would be off the charts. The iron, I would have to call that the Iron Man phone. That's number two. Number three, I would like to see stylus support. And another thing that I use my S Pen for, I, I know, is when I'm when I'm online and I'm scrolling through stuff, and you got to check these little boxes, you know, click yes, and you go like this with your little you know, with your finger. It's just so tedious. I like to have the S Pen in my hand while I'm scrolling, clicking, clicking yes to accept, you know, do you accept the terms yes, all these little boxes, everything I do with the S Pen. And again, you're gonna have to use your S Pen every day or at least once or twice a week for it to become muscle memory. Otherwise, you're gonna forget about it. It's just gonna be a, another little gimmicky feature. So if you got a Galaxy S23, start using your S Pen. So I would like to see stylus support. Next. I would love to see more super wallpapers. Xiaomi, all right? Now, I know Xi Jinping is out here in San Francisco right now. Don't make me run up on you. <laughs> I'm tr you know we cool, but I will run up on you and demand some more super wallpapers. Now, as much as I love this, look at the super wallpapers. We need more. I, we need more. Five is not enough. We need more. Oh, also, um, this phone did come with a little screen protector on here. Hold up. Rap. <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I seen you jump shoes. <laughs> Okay, so I would like to see more Super Wallpapers. Next, with the 14 Ultra, I would like to see a completely flat display. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Like how you have on your iPhones, okay? No subtle curves. That same, mm, that same titanium feel, but completely flat. This phone just feels like a slab. I, <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, why do I find that word so funny, slab? 
me get a slab of ribs. I, I would like to see a slab style phone. No curves at all, even though I know I'm being nitpicky because this curve, it kind of feels like a completely slabbed out phone with a layer of glass on top of it. That's what it feels like. You could kind of feel a little separation, but even the subtle curve, I just don't like it. I'm just so over these curved displays. Let me go straight flat. Let me go straight slab. <laughs> All right, uh, next and uh, okay, and let me see. And um, one more thing that I like, I said I would, I would really have to. I was really searching, and this is part of the fun that I have making these videos. Is it's easy to find the things you don't like. Of course, you're gonna like the display, you're gonna like the camera, the speakers, the processor. It's easy to find things you like, but it's a little bit harder to find the things that you don't like. So I, I was being extra petty. And one thing that I don't like about these Xiaomi phones is you have to manually set every notification. So if you buy this phone right now from GizTop, now let me get, let me help y'all out right now because I know some of y'all gonna have the same issue. If you buy this phone from GizTop right now and you set everything up, you're gonna notice when you're always on display, you're not gonna see any notifications. Here's what you're gonna have to do. Oh, and one before I even get into that, one more other petty thing. I hate this little ring right here. You know, I, I like the fingerprint. Let me, let me see, does this one still have, yeah, you see, I like the little fingerprint icon. That looks a little bit better. I hate this little circle ring right here. Like, it's, it, it, you know, that's just the cheap, it looks like they, they kind of cheaped out on that. And it is what it is. But anyway, if you buy this phone, right, here's what you gotta do. You're gonna have to go to notifications, right? And for each notification, where we at? Where we at? Let's see, matter of fact, it's under apps. I, I, I just did this the other night. You're gonna have to go to each app. Let's see, browser. No, actually, I think it was under notifications. Hold on, let me just double check. Yeah, my bad. You know, when you're shooting a live video, <laughs> it seems like I'm on a spot, so that's why I like my brain be freezing. But you gotta go to app notifications, right? So say for YouTube, you click on YouTube, you're gonna have to go to each one and turn on your notifications. I turn on all the notifications you want. And you're gonna have to do that for each app. For each app, you're gonna, have, I, I already did mine, but manually, you're gonna have to put on the sound, vibration, permanent notifications. Okay, you're gonna have to go click on all of these different ones and click, you see on screen, show notifications and their content, right? You're gonna have to click that if you wanna see your notifications on your always on display. Now it should be like, you just one at the top, click all. Click all, I want everything on all. It was very tedious, have to go, now nah, that's the second time I used that word, I'm never using it again today. <laughs> I had to go through each one individually and turn on all of the notifications. And that took about, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, all right, because I got a lot of apps, I had to set everything up. So I would like to see a one button activate all notifications. And that's pretty much it. Now, if those are my dislikes, okay, that says a lot about this phone. Though, after using this phone for a full week, that's literally all I could come up with about the things that I don't like. First of all, let's talk about, matter of fact, hold up. Hold, let me, let me, let me, let me regroup. <laughs> now look, I'm in a good mood because I'm going on vacation in a few hours. So if y'all see me uh, acting a little goofy, I'm sorry. Let's talk about everything that I do like, okay? Usually I would save the IR blaster part for the end of the video. But let me tell you something about this phone right here, okay? The Xiaomi 14 Pro is the supreme troll phone of America. As a matter of fact, of the world. This is the supreme troll phone because they put the IR blaster sensor in the back. Let me tell you why that's so crazy and why this phone is so trolly. Usually, when you got your IR blaster, okay, like a phone like this, you have to point, it's in the top. So you have to point it like this, like you're pointing a universal remote. So perfect example, you go out to dinner, right? And and I, this is um a, a true story. I went out to dinner, I went to this steakhouse, I ain't gonna say the name because I don't know if they follow me or not. I went to this steakhouse and they put me and my sister in the back. A real nice area that had a fireplace with a big TV over the fireplace. Now the restaurant is pretty empty, there's only a few people in there, and they got an NHL hockey game on. Now when you go to a nice steakhouse and you go out for a nice little dinner, you know, you you know you want to have a conversation, you know, you don't you don't want to it's not like you go into a sports bar. All right? You want a nice little, you know, low key environment, nice and um and cozy, you know, you want that steakhouse experience. 
They got a big ass hockey game on. So I'm like, yo, my sister, like, yo, I'm gonna just ask them to turn the TV. Yeah, and it was mad bright. She's like, I'm gonna just ask them to turn it off. I'm like, nah, you ain't gotta do that. Watch this, watch this. So I pull out my phone and I'm pointing it at the TV like this. So the, the, the TV's over there, I'm pointing at it like this. You know, you, when you go to your IR blaster, you gotta search for the right frequency, right? You gotta keep searching. Once you catch it, bang, then it works. But if somebody's looking at you, they're gonna see you going like this. Like you pointing your phone at the TV going like this. Now they don't they might not know it's a phone in your hand. It's gonna look like you got a universal remote and you're trying to turn the TV off. It just, you know, it's harder to be trolly. Having the IR blaster in the back. Now you can hold your phone like this, the same way like if you're taking a selfie and you while you scanning the TV and catch it and turn it off. And let me tell you how I was trolling so hard on Monday, and that's how I figured this out, all right, on Monday, because at first, remember um, when I unboxed it, I was like, that's probably in the back. It is. Monday night, okay, I'm up in my gym on Monday night. Now, I gotta set the scene for y'all. My gym is right down the block from St. John's University, out of college. So if I go to my gym anytime after seven, my gym closes at midnight. From seven to midnight, it's like a straight up frat house in there. All right, it's a bunch of college kids in there, bunch of college girls, everybody's hanging out. You know, and, and I, ain't, I ain't hating on that. But the thing that they like to do is, there's a bunch of TVs in the gym. I like to use the heavy weight, you know, the heavy bench presses. They like to chill on the bench press and watch the TV because one of the big TVs is right above the bench press. So they'll, somebody will get on the bench, they'll be watching the game, and they watch a whole a whole three, four downs of a football game before they do their next set. So if you're waiting, you're going to be waiting a long time. So Monday night, <laughs> the football game is on. Of course, I'm, I'm trying to use the incline bench. They got mad people over there, and everybody, you know, I'm, I'm waiting patiently because that's what you, you got to do. This etiquette, you just got to wait. You know, I ain't one of those people that walk over and be like, yo, how many sets you got left? I don't like doing that because I don't like when people do that to me. I don't like that. Just wait. So <laughs> if you ask me how many sets I got left, now I got to do five more. Like, unless we cool. That, that, that's just me being petty. But nevertheless. So they're watching the game. I'm like, all right. The only way that they're going to start working out again is if I turn this TV off, then they're going to have to, because there's like three big TVs. And they're like maybe eight to 10 feet apart. So if, if, I, if this TV is off, then they'll move down to the shoulder press machine and they'll all chill over there. So I said, watch this, so watch this. So I take out my phone, I go to me remote. All right, this is what you gotta do. You go, you go to me remote, let's find that real quick. Now, the TV was LG, I believe. All right, now I already deleted it because you know you don't wanna get busted with the evidence, but <laughs> the, T, the TV's LG. So you put on TV, right? You put on TV, search brands, put on LG. Now it says, is the TV on? What I like to do is put, I noticed now, this is just for my personal testing, I like to put, oh, is the TV on? I always say no. Okay, the TV is off. Now you point, the, you point your phone at the TV and you gotta keep pressing the power button. Did it turn on? No. Press the power button again. Did it turn on? No. So this is how you scan for that frequency. Now remember, if I was using this phone, I'll be having to go like this. Now you could do it low key, but you know, I'll have to be going like this because it has to point right at the sensor on your TV. With this phone, I'm standing there. It looks like I'm taking a selfie. I'm like this throwing the deuces up, acting like I'm taking a selfie. But meanwhile, I'm scanning the different frequencies. And when I finally caught it, I pressed the button, the TV turned off. That's when I hit yes and save it in, right? The TV turned off. Everybody's like, oh, what happened? Oh. So now I'm, I'm cracking up. So now, <laughs> now they start working out again. They're looking at the other TV. Somebody went upstairs and got the uh, gym attendant. He came down with the remote. Like, I don't know what happened, but he turned it back on, right? So now I'm standing there with one of my homeboys, and we kind of laughing. So I'm like, yo, watch this, watch this. So we wait until they're getting ready to hike the ball again. Like, the game looks like it's a, a great game. Now, I don't really follow football this year, but it seemed like it, it had to be a good game because everybody was into it. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the snap. Soon as they snap the ball, boom, turn the TV off again. And oh, everybody's like, oh, what the fuck? Oh. My homeboy and me, we laughing so hard. Of course, eventually, they got to move the party down to the shoulder press machine. So you can watch the game. Now, now all of a sudden, nobody don't want to do bench press no more. And I jump back on. The bottom line that I'm trying to say is having the IR blaster on the back of the phone, this might be the best thing since 
pants with pockets if you're into trolling because now you don't have to have that goofy look like you point at you could be so clandestine controlling devices i mean i don't know why i didn't think of this earlier but shout out to xiaomi man this is a complete win complete win now use like i said i usually like to wait for the ir blaster part of the end of the video but let me show you how i use my ir blaster upstairs in my office take a look at this stock ir blaster footage and keep in mind this is footage that i shot from a long time ago i ain't gonna keep shooting the same footage over and over but just imagine now when you're watching that video instead of me going like this i'm holding the phone like this i'm holding the phone just like i'm taking a selfie but i'm controlling all of the tvs check this out all right so i'm sitting up in the office I just finished working. Now I want to turn off all of my TVs using one phone. Okay, so let's start off with the Samsung TVs. Just like that. Another one. Just like that. Now we'll switch over to LG TV. Press the button. Just like that. And now let's switch over to Sony TV. Press the button just like that the ir blaster is so clutch for me this is a major go all right so now let's talk about everything else that i do like starting with the build quality this phone is ip68 dust and water resistant okay you got the lojing or longing glass okay which they say is stronger than gorilla glass victus 2 on the front and on the back with this particular model the titanium sides now, remember when I unboxed it, I said it has that new car feel to it. Maybe after a week later, you know, I, it won't be such of a big deal. But after using it for a week, it's still a big deal. You're going to love this, okay? You're going to love the way this phone feels. The non-titanium version is going to have regular aluminum on the sides like this. It's probably going to feel nice too. But this, there's something about this gray color titanium with the matte titanium on the sides with a little hit of orange, you're not gonna wanna put a case on this phone, okay? The build quality on this phone, you can't really tell through the YouTube video, you're gonna have to hold this in your hand. You are gonna love it, okay? I have never put a case on this yet. Even I only got one case, the one case that I got, I haven't used it yet. Now I've been holding on to that little screen protector, I just peeled it off, so now we'll see how durable this Longjing or Longjing, <laughs> Longjing glass is, we'll see when I do the next update, maybe for the 14 Ultra. But again, the build quality on this is superb. Okay, my favorite built phone so far. Next, let's talk about biometrics. Okay, and this is where Samsung could improve. Biometrics. First of all, look at the fingerprint sensor. Okay, let's um let's go to home screen. Look at your do this with your Galaxy. Just go like this. See how fast and smooth it's gonna if it's gonna feel like this. I'm talking about 100% of the time. And a lot of times, I'm going like this to reach my thumb and the face unlock catches it before I even get to my thumb. The face unlock on this is incredible. I Google. This is how face unlock is supposed to work. Look at this. And we're talking about daytime or nighttime, not just right here in the optimal lighting conditions, okay, where pretty much every phone face unlock is going to work. This phone works with just the TV light. Okay, I was outside last night shooting some photos. Every time I pull the phone out of my pocket, I don't even have to use the fingerprint sensor. Biometrics. And look how fast and smooth that OS is. Now, for some reason, a lot of y'all be like, oh, you know... I like the Xiaomi hardware, but I don't like Xiaomi OS. I don't like MIUI, or what they call in this new one, Hyper OS. I don't like that. I don't understand why. I mean, it is super smooth. It's extremely customizable. You see right now, since I'm getting ready to go on the West Coast, I got the dual clock set up. I mean, super wallpapers. It is just super fast. Not to mention, now we got the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. So everything about this phone is just smooth and fast. Now, as soon as it gets the global ROM, I'm going to flash that immediately because although I do like this little segment right here, you know, I just don't like when I have to see stuff like this. All right, now, I don't, I don't like to see anything of any other language 
at all. And I like to mention, not to mention, let me see. I think um one of these is one of these is global. Maybe not. I don't think so. I think both of these. I think both of these are the Chinese versions. Yeah, both of these are the Chinese versions. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay, so it's my, it's, my, it's my 13 T's, which I have the global version. Don't get me wrong. Everything works. All right? Everything still works. You see, I'm on AT&T. You see? I get 5G service. Everything works. But it's just, you know, you got a lot of bloatware. So if you buy this from Giztop or, or Alibaba, or AliExpress, wherever you buy your Chinese phones from, just give it maybe, I say for this one, since it's brand new, give it maybe a, a good month. A good month or two from now, they'll have the global ROM available. You can just download and install it yourself. But I personally don't even care. Like, it's not that serious. One is out already for the 13 Pro. I didn't even bother downloading it because it is what it is. But you can. If this is going to be your main phone, you could download the global ROM. But the OS on this phone, super smooth super fast now like i said when i did the unboxing i already went through all of the settings so we don't need to do that let's check the web browsing speeds go to apple.com okay click on apple you see now i gotta i, I gotta set up chrome on this one you see this, this is another reason why i like the global rom let's go to chrome okay let's do it like that let's go to amazon Look how fast that is. Let's go home. Let's go to Wikipedia. Do you see how fast that is? Bro, come on. You see that loading bar at the top? Bang. Immediate loading. Go to Samsung. Okay, that's is that yeah, that's Samsung. Okay. Let's see. Look how smooth that is. They continue on that one. But y'all see how fast everything opens and closes? And look how many apps I got on. Uh, you're looking at, look how many apps I got open at the same time. So it's not like it's just running fast because there's no memory being used. All of this stuff is open. I haven't closed anything. Press one button, close everything up. Now, if I want to, we can do floating windows. Okay. Float it to the side just like that. Bong, then we could just open up Instagram. Okay, let me log in real quick. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. All right, my bad. I forgot my Instagram login. Here we go. <laughs> I said, now we can log into Instagram. And at any moment, I can pop this back open. That's your floating windows. Okay. We could do split screen multitasking. Switch them around. This is a new feature in the Hyper OS. Okay. Or I could just slide it down like this. Bomb, just like that. Okay, let me jump. It's a lot going on on Instagram today. All right, we're going to, okay, hold on, let's see. All right, all right we, 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 we'll get back to this. <laughs> we'll get back to that. All right, so as you see for yourself, the OS, man, this is just so fast and smooth, but the web browsing speeds. Okay, the web browsing speeds, Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, I think we crossing that plateau. Now, remember I told y'all, oh, all of these phones starting to feel the same. This one just feels super fast. I can't wait to see what the Galaxy feels like with the Generation 3. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. And before I hit play, let me say this. The speakers on this phone sound better than the Samsung Galaxy S23. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. The speakers on this phone sound excellent. Listen to this. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Look, I'm gonna cover up just the bottom. Here's the top. This is just the top. Crazy. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the 
the sound on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. I'm going to say it again. Samsung, the ball is in your court. Right now, Xiaomi is killing the game. Now, for the last couple of years, y'all know my top two phones have been Samsung and Xiaomi. Last year, okay, actually, we'll say the Galaxy S23 Ultra I liked better than the uh, Xiaomi 13 Ultra. The Galaxy S22 Ultra I liked better than the Xiaomi 12 okay me 12 the xiaomi me 11 i liked better than that version of the samsung that year so for the last two years it's been samsung the year before that it was xiaomi with that secondary display with the ceramic build on the me 11 but i don't know if this is what we got coming in store for the 14 ultra samsung y'all gonna have to step your game up with the battery charging speeds the speakers display all right, now this phone right here is running uh, One UI 6. You know, it, and it's, it's, it's fast, but you see when you're scrolling, it just doesn't have that same feel as the Xiaomi phone. I mean, let's see if my, you see the face unlock? You see my face unlock down here? Face doesn't match. And I'm sitting in the same exact angle with the Xiaomi phone. Bro, Samsung, y'all gonna have to step your biometrics up. Y'all gonna step, have to step a lot of things up. But anyway, I digress. The speakers, excellent. All right, so now let's check out this beautiful Quad HD display. Here we go. Let's get full screen. Basically bezel-less. 3,000 nits brightness. Look at the viewing angles. Hold up. Look at the viewing angles. When I move the phone, it doesn't change at all. Watch this. Look at that. You can barely see my reflection. That's what you call excellent viewing angles with the supreme nits brightness, 3000 nits. This display with those speakers, you are gonna love this. Let's keep it moving. All right, so I wanna show y'all something real quick. Now I just took off my glasses, pulled out my Galaxy S23 Ultra, deleted my face unlock information, and redid it. Now let's try the face unlock, okay? Now look, it's still saying don't match. Now I'm trying to do this from behind the camera. Matter of fact, okay, there it is. Now, now it just popped open. Okay, there it is. Now I'm looking directly at it with my eyes wide open. Now I'm gonna move back a little bit. You see, I move, okay, now it caught it. Move around a little bit. Doesn't match, now I'm up close again. You see, now I haven't touched the Xiaomi phone all that time I have my glasses on. Okay, I just took my glasses off. Now I'm gonna move back. I'm, 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 I'm as far as back as my arm could reach. Bro, do you see the difference in biometrics? I mean, come on. And look, I'm a Samsung Knight. I know a lot of y'all are Samsung Knights. Let me put my glasses back on. I'm getting dizzy right now. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all Samsung Knights at home like, oh, my face unlock works. Don't get me wrong. It works. But it's not like the Xiaomi, bro. Come on. Now, I just put my glasses back on. There it is. It popped open. Let's see if I get three in a row. That's two. One more. I didn't even move. Okay, there it is. We got three in a row, but it shouldn't have to be that hard. You should just pick up your phone and go like that, and it should pop open. Okay? As it's coming up, it should be opening up. All right, so now let's try a little gaming. And on the quick side note, you got a fully functional gaming suite. Just like you're going to find on a gaming phone. So you see you got your battery percentage, your CPU, GPU speeds. Okay? You can add your games, customize all your screenshots and settings. I mean, this is a full game space. Now, if you want to exit out of that, hit it twice and keep it moving. All right, so let's try a little gaming now. Got Asphalt 9 queued up, ready to go. Here we go. Now, this time we're on level two. Let's get busy. Okay. 
Okay. Double tap to spin. We got that. You got to drift in order to build up some meter. All right. Or wrap. Okay. When you, aha, you can keep it moving, bro. Now, who, 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 who this cat? Who this cat? Mm, you like that, right? Hold up. Oh, they just ride and boost? Oh, I missed it. Okay, yeah, I had, to, I had to build up some more. Here we go. Look at that drip right on. You like that? I hear you. Why, why do I always yell out you like that? <laughs> I'm so used to trolling. All right, here we go. All right, there it is. Let's turn this down. Gaming, okay? Fully functional gaming suite. You got the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 with this beautiful display and these loudspeakers. I'm telling you, it's really hard to find something not to like about this phone. It's that crazy. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's talk about battery life. Now, I don't really be doing screen on time tests. I use my phone with maximum brightness, sunlight mode on. This is 3000 nits brightness with sunlight mode on. Y'all know me, I'm getting 1001 notifications. I'm on my phone all day long. So I use the phone pretty heavy. I would say the battery life on this phone is terrific, especially the standby time. The standby time on Xiaomi phones is so crazy compared to Galaxy phones. If I take both of these phones off the charger, 100%, and I leave them on the table face down like this, so they're always on displays, are off. Both of these face down. If I come back in two hours, the Galaxy is going to be at 92% or 90%. The Xiaomi phone is still going to be on 100 it is still gonna be at 100%. You can leave this phone face down for four hours. Pick it back up, it's gonna be on 99 or 100%. The standby time is incredible, but the actual battery life on this phone is great. I'm using Quad HD display, as you can see for yourself, maximum nittage, okay? I never turn that down, everything is on. I love it, okay? The battery life is pretty damn great. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. The camera on this phone is incredible. And that's what I'm saying. It's going to be hard to top this for the 14 Ultra. I guess the most they can do is add some more zoom, okay? Maybe add a bigger sensor. Hopefully, they don't go for this circular design because, personally, I like the square back better. But the camera on this phone, and let me show you what I'm talking about. It's the night shots, okay? The night shots on this, bro, there's no glare, all right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me pull up a, a photo that has glare in it real quick. Let's go to, check this out. Now, I, I, this is exactly why I like to take the same photos every time. You see, when I take my night shots, sometimes you see the lights and it has those little streaks of, you know, like the little glare. Look at the night shots on this. You see, there will be glare at the top of those. These shots are so clean. I mean, it is, look at this. The night shots on this camera, now, I haven't taken any daytime photos yet. I'm going to wait because, like I said, this is going to be a two-part, not really a two-part review, but a two-part edit. I'm going to take some daytime photos at the airport and in Vegas tomorrow. But I already took some nighttime photos last night. Maybe I can if I can catch some sunlight today. It's a little bit early. But the nighttime photos on this, bro, no glare at all. Look at that. It is incredible. Let me see. Do I have anything else on here? Let's see. Uh, let's see. One of my favorite night shots that I like to take. Again, you see? Look at that light. You can barely see any glare. So your nighttime photo is going to be looking extra crispy. I guess maybe they could do, let's see. Um, maybe they could put more zoom. What is this? I think this is 70 times zoom. Maybe they could do 112, 120 times zoom on the uh, ultra version. They got to come up with some more features. Otherwise, it won't make any sense buying a 14 ultra if you could just buy the 14 pro it almost didn't make any sense but <laughs> buying the 13 ultra as opposed to the 13 pro basically just more zoom on the camera and a bigger bigger sensor so i think they're going to go that same route for the 14 ultra but if you buy the 14 pro you're going to be impressed with the cameras and i don't like to talk about pictures you got your own eyes you can see for yourself you'll be the judge take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself
right, so now let's talk about another one of my favorite features, Second Space, also known as Thought Protection. Here's how that works. Now I'm gonna open up the phone using my thumbprint. You see this is the same wallpaper you've seen for the whole video. Let's go to Facebook, okay? This is my Facebook. Let's go to Twitter, okay? This is my Twitter. Let's go to Instagram. Here's my Instagram. And let's go to TikTok. This is my TikTok. Now we're gonna exit out of this, lock the phone, and now instead of using my thumb, I'm gonna use my first finger. Do you see how fast that was? Basically now I got a brand new phone. Watch this, I'm gonna go to Facebook. No Facebook logged in. Let's go to Instagram. No Instagram logged in. No, no TikTok logged in. No Twitter logged in. Okay, this is not my Twitter, you see? Just That's just a standard Twitter. Nothing is logged in. How dope is that? Now I can leave my phone on the table. If somebody picks it up, like, oh, let me go to this Instagram and see what's going down. No Instagram. Now I'm gonna close the phone up again. This time I'm gonna use my thumb. And look how fast that was. You see the second space, also known as thought protection, works so much better on the Xiaomi flagship phones than on the mid-range and budget phones that take a long time to switch. Do y'all see how fast that was? Now I'm back on Facebook. Exit out of that. Back on Messenger. Back on TikTok. Okay, back on Twitter. You see, now I'm logged in. As opposed to, we'll do the first finger. Let's check that same Twitter, logged out. How dope is that? And look how fast that switch is. Bro, this is so sick. I, when it switches fast like that, that's why I call it thought protection because say you're getting ready to go, go to the bathroom, you don't wanna have to pull a whole, the whole codes and all this kind of other shit if you wanna be a scumbag. All you gotta do is be like, hold on a second, I'll be right back. You just get up and walk away. That's it. When you come back to the table, no fancy unlock codes and all that. Your phone is on the table just like you get back to the table. Oh, okay, hold up. I'm back. Pick up my phone. Here we go. That is so sick. Second space. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now, you just spent anywhere between 850 bucks and 1400 bucks for a Xiaomi 14 Pro. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now, remember, this phone has wireless charge and reverse wireless charge, but not just wireless charge, 50 watt wireless charge. That means you can charge this phone wirelessly faster than you could charge your Galaxy wired. Let's check the charging animations. Okay, you see at the top, you got that little animation. Now let's see if we can do that without uh, activating the display. Okay, look at that. You see how it's coming from the sides? Now let's try to plug it in. Let's see, let me grab another plug. Okay. Let's see if we can do that without activating it. You see, two different charging animations. Now you're getting juice from the bottom. That's pretty dope. Okay, so we're gonna leave it on the charger like this. This is how your phone is gonna be in the middle of the night. Okay, so you wake up. And also, let me just mention one more thing, okay? I didn't mention it when we were talking about battery. This phone has a 120 watt fast charge. Now it seems like I'm being kind of rough on Samsung, but when I get phones like this, and they giving you so much, the charge in the box, case in the box, fast battery charging speeds, the silky smooth OS, IR blaster, it makes you, it makes you mad at Samsung, okay, for charging more money and not delivering. This phone will charge up, okay, from zero to 100% in 18 minutes. So you ain't even got to leave another charger like this. You can sleep with this phone in your bed when you wake up in the morning, put it on a wired charger, go take a shit shower and shave, and you come back, it's going to be 100%. This is called tough love. All right, Samsung, you see what they're doing? Look, look. No, you see when they're trying to look away? now. you got to make them look. Look, Samsung, look. This is what we want. Hey, you trying to look away? Nah, nah, nah. Make, make them watch. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, Tony, make them watch. Make them watch. <laughs> right. Look, Samsung shaking. This is how you do it. All right, fast wireless charge and fast wired charge. All right, now get out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs>
my Italian accent. Shout out to all my Guidos out there. Is it still safe to say Guidos or is that um is that gonna get me canceled? I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to all my Italian descent, <laughs> men of Italian descent. Anyway, RDHS, regular daily activities. Okay, so you wake up in the morning. Okay, your phone is definitely gonna be 100%. You pull it off. Now you can do fingerprint sensor, which is gonna work 100% of the time. Or as soon as you pick it up, glasses or no glasses. Let me take my glasses off, try that again. Glasses or no glasses, daytime, nighttime, light on or light off. It's gonna open right up. And you see I changed the super wallpaper to the uh, Mars joint now. Extra sick. Okay, so there's the planet. Closer look at the planet. To the surface. Beautiful, okay? Now the first thing I like to do is check the weather. Okay, 64 degrees, clear skies. Okay, now what time is it? Almost 1.30, or actually 1.40. All right, so I gotta catch a flight at seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so let me go ahead and wrap this video up. I ain't pack. I ain't do shit. All right, let's keep it moving. Next, let's go to Google. Let's see what's going down. How to get an Apple Watch Ultra 2 or Apple Watch Series 9 for almost free if you exercise. Oh, let me get that. Okay, Xiaomi Hyper OS. Hyper OS 1.0 Global Rollout. We got the Global Rollout. Okay, that means the Global ROM is right around the corner. Okay, which device is going to get the update first? Let's see. Let's see. Now, look how fast this is. Okay, let's see. So we got the 13. You see, I just told you. If you got a 13 or 13 Pro, y'all better keep this. All right. Oh, even the 12. The 12 is going to get it. 13 Ultra. The Xiaomi Pad 6. Okay. So, oh, look at this. I forgot they had the red Xiaomi 13, the, the limited version. Come on, Xiaomi, man. Bring them out to the big boys. Look at that list right there. All right. That's pretty dope. All right, now let's exit out of that. All right, so that's the Hyper OS. Let's see, the Sony, the, 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 the XM5s, they're going on sale. All right, the XM5s are actually on sale. Y'all seen the little video I just I just dropped for that? XM5s on sale. Let's see, ROG G14. This is my travel laptop. I always travel with my ROG G14. Okay, let's see. Mortal Kombat 1's DLC fighter, Home Lambda, won't be voiced by the voice actor. What a disappointment, all right? Because if you play Mortal Kombat 1, Omni-Man is the real Omni-Man voice from the Amazon show. That makes it even better. Jean-Claude Van Damme is the Johnny Cage Van Damme skin. Hearing the actor's real voice makes you makes you want to play that character even more. Okay, let's see anything else we need to see here. Look at this. Xiaomi claims, all right, let me say that correctly. Xiaomi claims record 3.11 billion sales. Okay, 3.11 in single daily. And let me say that one more time. Xiaomi claims a record 3.11 billion in single day sales. Where that Samsung do that again? Bring them over here. You see this? You know, you know why they doing that? Because they putting the charger in the box. They're giving you a lot of options. They're giving you a lot of features. Make them listen. They're giving you a lot of features. All right, Samsung, if you want 3.11 billion sales in one day, bring back the IR blaster. Get rid of that curved display. Give us some faster charging speeds. Look, the Galaxy Fireball 7, okay, a.k.a. the Galaxy Note 7, that was a long time ago. Okay, we all forgive you by now. We still buying your products. It's time to start taking some chances. Now get the book out of here. All right, let's go. PlayStation Portal. Now, I was trying to order this yesterday. I've been getting a lot of requests to review it. It seems like it's sold out everywhere. Let's see where to buy the portal. At. Let's see, because I'm trying to buy one yet. I'm trying to buy one. Let's see if uh, let's see if it's still sold out. Is it sold out every time I looked? Yeah, currently unavailable. Every spot I looked at, it was already sold out. And I gotta I gotta get into my Chrome browser. Yeah, it's pretty much sold out anyway. Yeah. Which is um for 200 bucks to be able to remote play your PlayStation all over the house, I'm definitely copping that, 100%. All right, let's see. Anything else that we need to see on Google? Anyway, this is how your Google homepage is going to look. Let's see um, the Mortal Kombat. Who's seen the Mortal Kombat 1 Thanksgiving fatality? <laughs> Pretty gruesome. Android 14 hits the OnePlus 11. Oh, Color OS 14 is out. Now, shout out to um, Oppo. Color OS 14 coming out. They said right now I can only get it on the N3. I don't have that phone, so it is what it is. Okay, so here's how your Google homepage is going to look. Zion, let's see, did he, have, he had his baby. <laughs> he had one of his babies here. Okay, let's see. Color OS 14, global, fast with some rough edges. Okay, look, 
Destroy it. Now, look, I just got an alert. Let's see. Championship of the Rumble's week four was the craziest week so Let's far. see what's going down. I know I said it about week three, but this Watch week this. tops it. Listen to me very carefully. If you reside in the North American region, if you have a wired connection, listening? do yourself a favor. Sign up for week five. Don't miss out on this crazy action. We're going to have sign up links in the pinned comments below. Let's get into this crazy pool play action. Bro, this is great. Now, hold up. I want, want y'all to see something real quick. I want y'all to see something. Let's go to Destroy Channel. Let's see. All right, because just in case y'all don't know, all right, just in case y'all didn't know, watch this here. Week three top eight was wild. Watch I know this. the main question in everybody's mind is, was Ami Man in this top eight? He was. <laughs> he was. Do me a big favor. If you guys support Champions of the Realms, go ahead and support the sponsor of our tournament, Flossy Carter. The guy is sponsoring each and every week with a tech prize for the first place winner. Also, we just got some COTR Bro. exclusive okay. merch added to the Now, look, I don't, I don't, I, you know, when I do things for the community, I don't be looking for a pat on the back, but I just want y'all to know, all right, support my man Destroyer because I'm supporting the Mortal Kombat community. I'm doing giveaways every week on that channel, okay? I'm going to start giveaways again on my channel when I start streaming, but I'm part of the old school Mortal Kombat community, so I got to sponsor a few tournaments, and this is one of them. So if y'all like Mortal Kombat 1, check out Destroyer FGC. I know, shameless plug. We got to do what we got to do, man. One hand washes the other, and both hands wash the face. <laughs> That's what they say. Anyway, so that was the Google homepage. Next, we got to do a little work. Now, this is Android 14. So you got all the Android 14 widgets. Let's take it over to Gmail. Okay. Let's see. Let's click on something. All right. So we got some new product. You see I'm going blind. Look how big my text is. Okay. Thanks. Bruh. Thanks, bruh. Okay. Hit send. Now, if any moment, we could just... Let's go ahead and split screen multitasking because while I'm working, I do want to watch the Destroy FGC tournament. Let's turn the volume down. Okay, so I could be watching the tournament while I'm doing my emails. Okay, let's see. Jack Gillespie, what's he talking about? Okay, I could be reading my emails, watching some Mortal Kombat brutalities. Just skip through just like that. Or if I want to, hit the button, switch top and bottom. Now I read my emails on the bottom while I'm doing my work on the top. But I will exit out of that. Okay. We'll just, matter of fact, we'll we'll come back to all of this stuff later. Let's just clean everything out. Oh, I just want to show you one more thing. If I do exit out, I do have picture and picture. Okay. I just have it to the side and bring it back at my leisure. Okay. Exit out. Bam. All right. So that's my work segment of the day. Next, let's take it over to X. Okay, X. Let's go to mentions. <laughs> there might be some spicy mentions because I ducked the set last night. I was supposed to be in a Mortal Kombat 1. We got a little beef set going on. I ducked the set because I'm traveling. I didn't duck the set because I was scared. I ducked the set because I needed to shoot this video right now. And usually when I play, I like to have a few drinks and all that. And I couldn't do that last night. So I had to duck the set. Let's see. Uh, what, what, what are we talking about now? Okay, look. The Destroyer Tournament. Okay, so I, I didn't like that. Let's see. Um, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna get into that too deep. Let's see. Um, what you doing out there, bro? Let's see. <laughs> bro, trying to roast. Hold up, jump. You trying to roast? That ain't me, bro. That ain't me, bro. Just cause I be rocking do rags occasionally. That ain't me, bro. I wish. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating. I wish. I, I wish I had that kind of energy, yo. Yeah? I wouldn't be doing that, but I wish I had that kind of energy. Oh, look, my man Gump, LOL. I, I usually type LOL, got the hardcore straight mean mug, LOL. All right, let's see. Let's see, we got the Pixel. The Pixel launcher is finally uh, preparing to add Google Toggle that let you hide it at a glance. Finally, finally. And look, look how many times I got to say that for this to happen. You know what I'm saying? How many times I got to say that to Google? We don't want the Google ball always at the top. Maybe we want it at the bottom. I mean, um, maybe we want to move it. Maybe we don't want it at the bottom. We want it at the top. That's what I meant to say. All right. Nothing changed. Still broke. Who broke? Let's see. Who, who, who broke? Oh, let's see. I want to. Okay. I want this phone broke after watching that video. I'm broke. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah? All right. Let's see what's going down on Twitter. Let's see. Uh, let's see. So your street father and your boy, let's see. What's he talking about? 
Oh, look, everybody's talking about Xi Jinping. I told you, he had him, he had in San Francisco. Now I was going to run up on him and tell him, give us some more Super Bowl papers, but he lucky I got to fly to Vegas, man. Otherwise, I'd have had to run down on him real quick. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. Um, song with more bass. Okay. More bass than Nipsey Hussle, Blue Laces 2. All right, so we're going to have to, I already hard at that one. Okay. Anyway, like um, uh, the the Twitter I already went through Twitter. Uh, tw Twitter. I said Twitter. I went to I went through. <laughs> I get to that. I went through Twitter on a different video that I'm gonna launch. <laughs> launch. <laughs> I'm gonna launch that video before I do this video. So y'all see y'all 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 don't know. By the time y'all see this video, you'll know more about the Mortal Kombat beef that I'm involved with. <laughs> because I had to put out I had to put out a Mortal Kombat hit on somebody online because they was talking shit. I don't play the game like that. I only play for fun. But he was talking shit, so I had to go get one of my goons, you know what I'm saying, to handle my light work. And that's how I do, yeah. That's how I do. Okay, I'm giving away some prizes like this kind of shit. That's how I do. Anyway, let's keep it moving. All right, so that's Twitter. Let's exit out of that. Bang. Oh, hold on. What's this? What's going on? Let's see. Um, the MKBHD podcast. Who watching that? I watched a few episodes of that. You know, they be, they be, they be talking some um, some real educational type shit. I like that. Let's keep it moving. Let's see. Now, let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, so here's your Facebook. All right. Everybody outside. Homegirl Amanda with the tit at you. You know what I'm saying? Who that? DJ Quick. Big Daddy Kane. Okay. B they call it a BDK now. Okay. BDK. Okay. Now, y'all see this new Samsung case? 60 bucks on this one. It is what it is. All right. We got uh, who that? Zelensky. <laughs> Zelensky. That man be dressed. That man be dressed for combat for real. He don't play around it. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's see. Now, again, every time I see this ad, I got to go upstairs and open this box up. I don't know about the boots, but I got all of these Therabody products. If y'all want to see them all in one video, somebody let me know in the comments. If not, I'm just going to open these shits up and start using them, <laughs> okay? Because I want to use this shit right here. It's like an automatic cold and hot pack without having to get wet or moist. <laughs> these boots, I don't know about the boots. I don't, I don't know if I'm old enough for the boots yet, but they got the Therabody boots, you know, the recovery air jet boots, you know? 800 bucks on these? I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. Anyway. Okay, Jordan. Okay, everybody outside in love. Everybody all in love. All right. Bump box. All right, we doing the bump back remix. As soon as I come back. All right, this one right here. As soon as I come back from vacation, this is my first speaker video I'm going to do. All right. Now, shout out to my, my my dudes over at Bump Box. I was supposed to meet them in Vegas. They, they going to the F1 races. They invited me, so I might just have to pull up. You know what I'm about? Pull up. Let's see. DVLA Phantom. I reviewed that years ago. I had a bad experience. Look at this. Look, who that? Turbo? My man Turbo right there. All right. Let's keep it moving. That's how your Facebook is going to look. Okay. We could do the floating windows with Facebook. Slide it to the side. We'll come back to that later. Let's take it over to TikTok. Okay. Here's how your TikTok is going to look. Now, if you notice, you haven't seen any lag at all in this video. Look how smooth everything is running. What phone is that? Oh, Huawei. Oh, man, if, if Huawei was right now still allowed in the USA with Google Apps, bro, Samsung Samsung might be on life support. The S Pen is keeping Samsung on life support right now. Because if this shit right here hit the United States and you could get Google on it, bro, that Galaxy Fold is it, that Galaxy Fold is over, bro. It's over. All right, what's this going on? Some new brushes going on. Okay, all right. I was watching this the other day of my um, Galaxy Tab video. Bro, these military dudes be getting busy. Huh? They be getting... Oh, yo, did you see that haymaker, bro? He like, nah, we not friends right now. But watch this haymaker. Hold up. A little high five. Okay, yeah, we... Um, bro don't even got his hands up. What, what, what kind of fight do you think this is? Oh, right in the chest, yeah. Damn, he went down from a chest shot, yeah. These, these, uh, these, this fraudulent fight right here. Even though, don't get me wrong, that, that you know, you can love him or hate him, but, whew, that right, was that a right hook? That right hook was 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 pretty fucking brutal. <laughs> it really was. Yeah. All right, we got a PS5 bundle at Costco. Damn, they stocked up like that. That's because they got the PlayStation Slim out now. Ain't nobody buying them big giant units. This is like a new game right here, stack. Only kind of interesting. Now this is my kind of video right here. Rotating fatness. 
Now, I like that. This is what I like to have for dinner on my on my table, just a rotating set of plates with different different <laughs> different dishes on it. I know this is supposed to be like for a big family, but I just like to have that just for myself, yo. Just rotating shit, yo. I like that. Look at that. Bro, these phones are not playing anymore. Oh, look at this kind of shit, yo. Man, imagine 10 years from now, man, the kind of stuff that we're going to see. If you think about what we had 10 years ago to where we at now, 10 years from now, ah, uh, man, I hope y'all let us see it, man. Look at this. Look at, look at you shit like this, man. All kind of smart pens. Look, I mean, come on, bro. Phone pens. Camera phone pens, laser pointer. Bro, all you need is like a stun gun on the top of that and you good money. All right, so, so oh, hold up. The Mike Tyson, oh, man. I thought Mike was on the floor just now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this simple trick will remove ads from your phone. Oh, let's talk about that too. A lot of people was like, oh, I like Xiaomi phones, but they got too many ads. Have you seen one ad in this video? One ad. The only time you're gonna find ads on Xiaomi phones is if you buy budget Poco phones or budget Redmi phones in the UK. Other than that, even even the, the Poco phones and the Redmi phones that I get, they don't have ads. You haven't seen any ads on this video. If I go to the Play Store and add an app, you're not gonna see an ad. Okay, now just, just, just be clear about that. S23, 399, I wonder why. Somebody got the turducken. Are they going to fry a turducken right now? Let's see. Does it explode or, the, or does he have a good one? Let's see. Okay. Um, I know what he's doing. He know what he's doing. Okay. Because you've seen a lot of mishaps. Anyway, this is our TikTok. This is okay. What sport is this? What sport is this? Because I'm about to start watching. What sport is this? I like this sport. All right. Let's keep it moving. All right. Now let's do one more. Let's go to Instagram. All right, let's see what's going down on the gram. Also, we got our. Uh, I used to like. I used to like Rock Man, but Rock be getting on my nerves now, yo. Like she be doing the most now, yo. I don't really mess with Rock like that. Snoop Dogg says he's giving up. He's giving up smoke, in his new IG post. Okay, okay. Yo, let let that man make make some changes, yo. Okay, what's Calico talking about? One got real spicy with me in the drive through yesterday. I was like, man, you gonna give me a reason to do all of that? <laughs> <laughs> Calico. Oh, let's see. Expensive but cool hobby. Ooh. Imagine watching you you watching your your five thousand dollars go down the drain. Maybe ten, maybe more. Dwight was trying to warn us. Okay. I don't know about that. Let's see. All right, let's see what's going down here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. A little stretch out, okay. Get the pajamas on. Okay, I ain't mad at that. Okay. Some sort of switch into a vampire life. Okay, I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Okay. We got the uh, Nether Realm slash Skybound Omni Man. Okay. Police chases. What's going on? Somebody out in the U Haul van, yo? Ooh. Damn, they, they, they yo, they, that's gangster. They'll pitch you right on the middle of a, a highway with other cars. They said, nah, this, they got, well, he's still rolling, though. He's still rolling. A stolen U Haul truck. Them U-Haul trucks is about it, though. Let's see. Two men pummeled New York City cop who asked them to stop smoking at New York City subway station. <sighs> you know, New York City, bro. <laughs> New York City is now Venezuela. <laughs> New York City is the new Venezuela. With all these fucking uh, motorbikes and scooters all over the place. Yo, New York City is Venezuela. If you, and, and let me tell y'all something. All my dudes who live in New York City, okay, who never been to Venezuela, if you see two dudes on a scooter, you better you better pay attention. All right? Two dudes pull up on a scooter, it could go down. All right? You better pay attention. We got to start living by Venezuelan laws, yo, and Brazilian rules, yo. All right? Two dudes on a scooter, you better grab your, you know what I'm talking about? You better get ready for action, yo. Anyway, let's see what's going down. Okay. Anyway, so this is how your TikTok is going to look at it. Look at, look, at, look at this. Look at this. How come I go, when I go in the store, I never see nothing like this, yeah? I never see that. Anything we need to see? Anything? He just got sentenced to 13 years for high-speed chase with police. Oh, this is the dude that was crying. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> the judge like, bro. <laughs> yeah, see, man, don't don't cry now, bro. I right, don't cry now, man. Y'all be doing all kind of crazy shit. Don't cry now, bro. 
That's why you got to be thinking about moves before you make them. All right, Calvin, just in case you wanted to know, the pinch of the zoom does work. You know what I'm talking about? Hold on. This is, might as well see the rest of the slides. Why not? Okay. You know. You know. That's what it is. All right. So let's kind of wrap this up. What, what, what kind of whip is this? Toyota Camry. I had the 2025 Toyota Camry. Okay. I, I, y'all know how tired I am of Jada Pickett Smith. Okay. How tired I am of her. Not tired. Tired. When black people said tired. That doesn't mean tired. Tired. I'm tired. Tired of this shit. Okay. And my man Knockout was talking real. My man Knockout was talking real spicy. I Knockout 360 was talking real spicy on my last clip. Hold up. This is my last clip. Hold up. Y'all hear this? This is my last video I posted. Shit and get a new shit. No, look at look, look at Knockout. What he say? What he say? What he say? Hellcat food. Knockout. Knockout talk about Hellcat food. I right, knockout. Don't let me catch you on the highway one of these days. Anyway, RDA, regular daily activities. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is barring the S Pen. Barring the S Pen and Samsung Dex, this is my favorite phone right now. It's just, it has everything that I want. Excellent display, okay, quad HD, 3000 nits brightness, perfect for my blind ass. Excellent dual speakers, the build quality, titanium. Okay, even if you even if you say, okay, we're gonna do a tear down and test the materials, maybe it's not real titanium, maybe it's some kind of alloy. The way it feels, a matte metallic feel, okay, frosted glass, the square camera as opposed to the round camera. The orange trim that just gives it some personality. The number one trolling phone of America with the IR blaster built into the back. So now I can pretend like I'm taking my selfies and troll you. Second space. Bro, this phone right here on the scale of 1 to 10. Okay, let's go ahead and rate this. On the scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the Xiaomi 14 Pro a major, major, major Mm, go. That's a major. That's a three majors and a half. That's a that's a three and a half majors go. Other than other than maybe adding more zoom on the camera because it can be done. Okay, it can be done. It's not like okay they took it to the maximum zoom. We could get a little bit more zoom. There's only a few things I can see adding to this phone to make it better. But this is almost a quad major go. Hold up. Let me um. Let me hang up. I'm making a phone call by accident. <laughs> anyway, this is a triple major go, triple and a half major go. I highly recommend this phone. If you're scared of the uh, Chinese OS and all of that, wait for the global version. Okay, but if you got balls like me, get the Chinese version, wait a few months, drop the global ROM on it, and it's going to be the same. Okay, this phone right here is an absolute beast. I highly recommend it. Samsung Knights. Okay, I need y'all to stand down and stand by. The Xiaomi Warlords are doing their thing right now. And I'm one of the Xiaomi Warlords too. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, all right? I, gotta, I might have to. Th th phones like this be making me rethink my Samsung Knights membership. It's time to, you know, it's, it's getting closer to the end of the year when it's time to pay my dues for the Samsung Knights. I'm thinking about not paying this year. All right, we got to see what the Galaxy S24 looks like because I might not pay my dues. I might just become a full-fledged Xiaomi Warlord. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me, bro. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up.
Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.